Welcome guys, and welcome back to Leadership Club with Leo, your favorite host, I hope so. Uh, and today is gonna, it's the big, big day, um, what we've been waiting for. And if you don't remember what the big day is, we're gonna start building our piggy banks. So I'm really excited, I hope you're excited because it's gonna be really fun. But before we start building the piggy banks, I wanna give you all a sneak peek of something similar that we may be doing. However, we're gonna be giving it our own little twist on it. It's gonna be more personal and more personalized because it's for us and it's not something that we're just gonna be copying off the internet because we're gonna be using our imagination and what inspires us to save money. So what we're gonna start doing today is we're gonna start doing the sketching process and the building process. There's two parts to this. So we're gonna be starting with the first part, sketching and the building because the drying takes a really, really long time. We're gonna let it sit overnight just to kind of fully dry. So for part two, we're gonna be doing the painting and the drawing. But before we start, I wanna show y'all that video that I mentioned of something similar that we're gonna be doing. So what we just watched was a video of someone making a piggy bank, not just an ordinary piggy bank, but a piggy bank made out of cardboard. So yes, you can make piggy banks out of ceramic. However, in this case, we're gonna make, be making one out of cardboard and making it very unique. I'm gonna show y'all an example of something that I've been working on. So here we have my piggy bank, kind of an inspiration from the video that we just watched. However, I've made it to be more customized, more appealing to myself in the way that I wanna start saving money. So I'm gonna give y'all a 360 view of my piggy bank. It's in a house shape. And this keeps falling off because this is where you get to take out your money and you get to push it back in. There you go, you heard that snap. And then you have an option here to put in your cash and then your coins, like your pennies, and then I decided to add popsicle sticks and you'll know why in a bit, but I don't wanna give it away just yet. So one last thing before we start, I want y'all to go into this project thinking outside of the box. I want y'all to make this very personal, make this something that you wanna keep using every single day and maybe improve on once your piggy bank wears out because cardboard does wear out. So this is just maybe a temporary piggy bank that you can just use for right now and maybe eventually after watching more videos on YouTube or searching up more uh, different piggy banks on Pinterest for more inspiration, you can finally apply what you learned here with me and what you learned with those other videos and make it a even better piggy bank. 